The Kenyan government is seeking to raise 45 billion for its budgeting through these three treasury bonds that have been reopened. If you're an investor, this is how much you make. A treasury bond is you simply lending money to the government and you're going to be earning an interest for a certain period of time before you get back the money that you lend the government. First treasury bond that was reopened was FXD 2023-10. This treasury bond for the first time, it was issued in 2023 and it was for 10 years. So if you bought this bond in 2023, you're going to get back your money in 2033. But since this bond has been reopened, it has been reissued, if you're going to invest your money this month or if you're going to invest your money this year, it's going to be for 8.2 years because that's the duration of time that is remaining from the 10 years. The 10 years minus the one year and a few months that have gone by, you are going to you're going to remain with 8.2 years. If you invest in this treasury bond, this is the coupon rate. The coupon rate is the interest rate at which you're going to be getting interest every single year. I'm going to do a calculation for that. No worries. The second treasury bond that has been reopened is the FXD 2018-20. This treasury bond was first issued in 2018. So if you bought this bond in 2018 plus 20 years, you as an investor, you're going to get back your money in 2038 but it has been reopened this year. So the duration of time, if you're going to invest your money in this treasury bond, it's going to last for 13.3 years. If you invested it today, you're going to get it back after 13.3 years. But in the meantime, you're going to be earning an interest rate or rather an interest of 13.2%. I'll do a calculation on that. No worries. The third treasury bond that has been reopened is the FXD1 2024. 10. This one was first issued this year and it's for 10 years. So around 0 0.7 years have passed. So if you're going to invest in this treasury bond, you're going to get back your money after 9.3 years and you're going to be earning an interest. Every single year, you're going to be getting an interest of 16% of the investment value that you're going to do. Let's do some calculations. If you decide to invest in this treasury bond, the first treasury bond, and it's for 14.15%, let's assume that you want to invest, you have, you want to invest 100,000 worth of investment, 100,000. So every year for the next 8.2 years, you're going to be earning an interest of, that is 100,000 times the 14, Point one five percent. So every year you're supposed to be earning around fourteen thousand one fifty. Imagine, imagine. But there's one thing left. You have to pay tax on this interest that you're going to be earning every year. And in this case, it's going to be 10%. Any treasury bond that is for 10 years and above, instead of you paying 15% of the interest that you earn, you get the benefit of only paying 10%. So we have to take away 10% of this to get the actual amount of money that you're going to be receiving. If we take away 10% from this, it means that you're going to remain with 90% of this amount. So the amount of interest that you'll be earning every single year will be 90% times 14,150. You'll be earning 12,735. If you would like to invest in this bond, same thing. The interest that you're going to be earning every single year for the next 13.3 years is going to be 13.2%, 2% times, assuming that you want to invest 100,000 worth of this bond, you'll be earning 13,200. Imagine, but now we take away the tax element, the 10% withholding tax. So you're going to remain with 90%, 90% times 13,200. That's going to be, it's going to be 11,880. Imagine. Finally, if you are going to invest in this 
treasury bond that has been reopened. This one is going to be for 9.3 years. So you're going to earn 16%. The coupon, this is the coupon rate. It's the interest rate. Um, you're going to be earning 16% times... 100,000, we're going to assume that you want to invest 100,000 worth, uh, you want to invest 100,000 shillings. That will be, you're supposed to be earning 16,000, but because you have to pay, it's for 10 years and above, so we have to take away 10% instead of 15% as withholding tax. Instead of you getting this 16,000, you'll get 90%. I've taken away the 10%, which is tax. 90% times 16. You're going to get 14,400. Let me explain. If you're going to invest in this first bond, every single year, actually interest in treasury bonds is usually paid out every six months. Every six months you get this money. So every year you're supposed to be getting 12,735. And now we split this 12,735 by two because you get two payments. But ideally, every every year, you're going to be getting 12,735. Year one, if you invest this next year at a time like this, you'll earn 12,735. The other year, at a time like this, you're going to get 12,735. The other year, at a time like this, you get 12,735. It's usually paid out every six months, every six months, every six months. So, so you just divide the 12,735 by two because you receive two payments every single year. It's the same thing. If you invest in this bond you are going to be getting an interest of 11880 every single year. So you just divide this by two because payments are paid out twice. But in total, every single year for the next 13 years, you're going to be receiving 11880 as interest. If you invest in this every single year, you're going to be receiving 14400 for the next 9.3 years. Then in the last year, you're now going to get back your 100,000 shillings. This is a good investment. What do you think? If you're planning to invest in either of these treasury bonds, it's important to note when should you make this bid for this investment. All these three treasury bonds were issued on, it was on 21st, it was on 21st November last month. All these three bonds were first issued, were reissued on 21st November 2024. But with the first and second treasury bond, this one and this one here, you must make your bid by fourth, the first two, let me add here, or this one and this one, you must make your bid by fourth of December. That is the last day for you to make this bid. If you make this bid on 5th December, it won't even be there. It won't be there in the DO CSD portal. So you must make this investment by 4th of December. And then by 6th of December, you're going to know whether your bid is successful and you're also going to get the payment details. For the last treasury bond, you, have, you must make your bid by 11th of December. At least with this one, we have time. It even has a good uh, coupon rate. If you're going to invest in this treasury bond, you have until 11th December 2024. But these other two, you have until 4th December 2024. Also, the first two treasury bonds are aiming to raise 25, which was 25 billion. The government is planning to raise 25 billion from the first two treasury bonds. And in the last treasury bond, the government of Kenya is planning to raise 20 billion. So in total, the government wants to raise 45 billion. One other thing, or rather, some of the things that you must note as an investor is that the minimum amount of money that you can invest in a treasury bond is 50,000 Kenyan shillings. You can't invest anything less than 50,000 shillings. You have an opportunity to do this investment. But I used an example for 100,000 Kenyan shillings, but this is the minimum amount of money that you can invest. The other thing is that these treasury bonds are usually, are usually issued once a month. So this is your chance to make this investment. Since these treasury bonds were issued on 21st of November, you have to wait until around 21st of um, December, around there, for the other bond to be issued. But... 
basically they're usually issued once a month and like treasury bills that are usually issued every single week the other thing to note is taxation let me remove this it's taxation if a bond is going to be for more than 10 years or if it's for 10 years and above 10 years and above it's usually taxed at 10 percent but if the treasury bond is for nine years and below that is nine years and below and below it's usually 15 percent in this case all these treasury bonds are for 10 years there's one for 20 years there's another one for 10 years in as much as you is going to make this investment it's going to be for it's going to be 8.2 years for you but the taxation is usually based on the initial duration that was based on the first bond that was issued and not the one that was reissued if you've ever invested in a treasury bond what's your experience do you feel like these returns are good or do you feel like there's an alternative investment that somebody can invest in other than treasury bonds like this video thank you for watching and see you in the next video